Hello, my friends. In this part, we will continue making our application and we will implement the networking section. So we will use the retrofit library, our old friend. We have seen in the previous videos about uh, using uh, retrofit library, which is a very good library that you help us in order to get the HTTP responses and get uh, uh, get using the API uh, responses, JSON and other formats. So also we will learn uh, and use the JSON, which is the serialization responsible for serialization and deserialization of the responses. We go to the square.github.io slash retrofit. If you don't know anything about retrofit, please go back to the course, uh, to the playlists and courses section 16 on Udemy and 15 and uh, search for the retrofit. It is full functional application using retrofit. And it is good for now in order to to know how to use it and how to download it and integrate it with the, our application. So I will copy this and I will go to the Gradle. I will scroll down and paste the implementation. We have an insert, uh, insert latest version. I will remove it and I go back to the, to the site and see the latest version. Okay. I need to get the latest version of the retrofit and we click on the github icon in the above and we scroll down this is the github for the retrofit and we see it it is 2.9.0 copy and paste it also as I mentioned before we need to a uh, serializer and deserializer for the and the converters for uh, using the retrofit. So by default, retrofit can only deserialize HTTP bodies into OK HTTP response body type, it, and it can only accept the request body type for body annotation. The converters can be added to support other types. We have these six. I I will use that JSON, which is the I think it is the best and um, I will add it implementation and square JSON retrofit and I will add a version for it it is I think two point uh, the same as the retrofit sync now things sync the project I think that is uh, an error because we didn't implement the right version. I will go to the code of JSON, scroll down, and it is 2.86. Okay, I will make the converter. I need the converter. So I will add the converter. I think it is not the, it is the same version as retrofit. Okay. So the error is here. Okay. Implementation IO. Sorry for that. Sync for now. 2.9.0. The JSON uh, converter would be uh, the same as the retrofit. Okay and importing Gradle projects. Okay. Till now we have implemented uh, the libraries for the retrofit. Now, the dependency for the retrofit. I will add a Stack Overflow API. But first, let me uh, show you uh, how uh, retrofit will fetch the Stack Overflow and in which type and in which format and what data we need to get from a Stack Overflow. If we search on Google about the API, Stack Overflow API, you will be directed to api.stackexchange.com slash documents. This document is fully 
uh, a fully lectured and full detailed about the data that this API, the Stack Overflow API, will uh, deliver for you. So if you, we implement the API for the Stack Overflow, what kind of data we will get and what are the possibilities the, of data that we will get. You will we'll see on the right side how to configure the authentication the JavaScript SDK, batching requests, complex queries, filters, duplicate requests, paging, data, dates, numbers, compression, and many, many data. So, if we see that all API response are JSON, I will uh, highlight the, the data that we need uh, and they are very important. Every response in the, in the API is returned in a common wrapper object for easier and more consistent parsing. We have dealt with the wrapper objects and the, the model class that we will touch the JSON in it, and then we will get it with the retrofit and display them into recycler view. The same way we will implement this uh, that we have learned in this application so our uh, our concentration will not be on networking either on ui we will concentrate about dependency injection and how to make the architecture of our application looks clean and professional so a number of number of few methods which require the application be acting on behalf of the user in order to be invoked the uh, some methods requires and uh, requires authentication others not we will use the, uh, the uh, not requiring the authentication so if we see here scroll down and we see that this method type for answers so each of these methods operates as an on single site at a time this will get uh, the answers get all answers on site get answer identified by set of ids you see guys this is the variable that we will deal with it uh, and you see guys the, here are the answers uh, that require the authentication required so you need to uh, to authenticate and uh, log in in order to use this so comments answers edits everything about the answers if you scroll down we see also a badge section so we get all badges on the side in alphabetical orders identified by ids badges that uh, that are tagged recently awarded on site recently recipient recipient of given badges and more and more things if we scroll down also we get the comments section so the, the comment, comment section we get all comments on the site get uh, all comments uh, identified by a set of id and these are more and more options if we also scroll down we see events info posts privileges and questions and for what we need and if I scroll down, revision, search, suggested edits, tags, users, you can get uh, I, uh, data about users and, and many others. But what we need in our application is the questions section. So the questions section is what we need and what we are concerned. Okay, so... You see, guys, questions, you can get all questions on site. Let me click on it and open it on another tab. And the sort accepted. You can sort the object. You can try it here. So the link before, as I told you in the previous uh, courses about retrofit, that there is a fixed link which will be in the constant class and a variable a link that will be in the uh, that will be uh, depending on our request so when the user enter in search uh, search view 
or if you scroll down or you are requesting more and more pages all are done by the requests that it is in the variable part don't worry we will see them uh, clearly on our application when implementing this i will notify you and don't worry again everything will be uh, fine and everything will be lectured at uh, the proper uh, proper time so if i try to page one you see guys the request has been adding a page variable and given it one so if i give five it will be five one i will give it one and i will click run you see guys i have get an items array of json so this is a json as i told you json and this is the name of array it's called items and inside this array items i have objects of type uh, json and json and it is named tag it is an array also an array having these and we have an owner it is also a, a, an object having link display name profile name and the other of the owner and these are also other things what we need from this is the title and the question id so i will search for the question id here and the title so the question id and the uh, sorry the title and the question id i will display the title in their circular review and the question id i will pass it when the user click on uh, on the on any question it will be passing the question id to the details activity and the details activity go take the id and make another response uh, another call another retrofit call that requires uh, the data uh, for uh, from the api of the of uh, stack overflow and getting them back displaying them using retrofit to the details activity this is the uh, the uh, an overview of our application so our application will have the title of the questions of questions and the id this is the main activity this is the question list activity and when the user click on any question the id will be uh, the uh, id of the question will be passed and again it would be uh, running and a retrofit an api call using retrofit and it will passing again in the json data details activity will be displaying the these data i hope you understand it now let's go and configure our application uh, on android studio but before these are you can add them you can uh, read about them you can test them and uh, much more back to android studio we have done this and we have done this i will configure the questions uh, class 